what are you expecting from Patrick Liney and John Tortorella? Uh, I'm not worried about the uh, chemistry between these two. Honestly, I know there was a lot of uh, talk uh, in the past about, you know, torts and dealing with, uh, you know, like mostly offensive gifted players. And, you know, you look at the history here so far, you know, obviously with the Dubois situation, it was a little bit different because I don't think it was a torts driven thing. But, uh, you know, I think Artemi Panarin is the prime example. You know, Artemi would have left for New York even if he had to play there for free, that was his destination of choice. There was no uh, no doubt he was going to go there, but it was not towards related. And even now, if you ask Artemi Panarin about John Perel, he absolutely loved playing for him. So I don't anticipate any issues. Uh, you know, on my side, uh, I think uh, he's a much welcome shooter on this Blue Jackets lineup right now. And uh, hopefully everything goes well, but I don't think Torts and Liney will have any problems. What, uh, what do you think is realistic for Line A? You know, I mean, I think it's probably going to take a little bit of time just given the quarantine. Probably hasn't had a ton of uh, time on the ice. But what, what are the Blue Jackets' expectations for him? I think just having him uh, in the lineup is going to bring a, you know, I don't know if you want to call it swagger or a boost, emotional boost into the lineup. Uh, this team is... They started okay. Uh, not that, not a, I wouldn't call it a great start. Uh, you know, they always have a slow start every year. But uh, for me, the power play has been a big issue. You know, I think they're 27th in the league. The goals, you know, per game, I think they're 26th or 27th as well in the league. You just expect more offensively from this group. And I think he's a guy that can change a game really quick by just taking one shot i watched him in the morning skate this morning the guy does just he doesn't miss and uh i think that's going to be a welcome addition this lineup because again we just lost 3-1 to chicago and let's not kid ourselves chicago is in a kind of a rebuilding phase and you know with all the covid and injuries to players they i think they have nine guys missing and you still manage to score just one goal that's tough so I think, uh, yeah, I don't expect them to score 50, but uh, I think it's going to be a great help to this lineup. Sean luc what went wrong with Pierre-Luc Dubois and, and, and the Jackets? I mean, we spoke to you last year during the playoffs, and you hit the nail on the head in, in, in describing the relationship. And, 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 and by God, I mean, I, Pierre, we talked about this in the show often. I thought Pierre-Luc Dubois and Austin Matthews were the two best players in 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 that, mm-hmm. in that series i thought dubois was just a beast so what happened between then and 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 this season uh, i'm not sure uh you know there's uh i don't know if so, I, you know, they're saying nothing happens during the negotiation it's hard with uh the situation now we don't you know i usually get the talk you know to the players on a daily basis off you know off the air and kind of one on one and being able to get some some kind of insight on what you know what certain decision is driven by uh but there was no occasion to do that with Pierre Luc but you know Pierre Luc bought, bought like a brand new house here in uh, August uh, of 2020 so something clearly happened between August and the time he signed his contract because I don't think he would have bought a brand new house in Columbus Ohio if he had intention to leave in the off season. So uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, I just know that he seemed absolutely, uh, you know, excited to be in Winnipeg. So I don't think it was about being in a bigger market or anything like that. I just think there's something that he saw or that he heard that didn't, he did not like and want to move on. So, uh, you know, I heard a few interviews with him uh, in French, uh, you know, in, in Quebec about, you know, he just, wanted to be happy and he didn't feel happy being a blue jacket and he could have signed an eight-year deal here but he wouldn't have been you know honest about it he would have lied to himself and he just didn't want to do that